Hi there, it's Jody. Welcome to episode 11 of Tuesday Tips. I want to do a really quick recap of last week where I took our new soft pastels. It looks like this. And I stamped an image from Priced Peony, took a sponge dauber directly to the chalk, and tried to sponge some color on there. Okay? Then I showed you where I scraped some onto a block, and you get such a vibrant look. And that's what I created for you last week. I want to do another technique this week that is even cooler. So I'm going to start, this is just our thick white cardstock and some Versamark ink with this image from Prize Peony, that same image. And I'm inking it up on Versamark. And then I'll stamp it right onto the white cardstock. You're not seeing a whole lot, right? Because Versamark is just tone on tone. So you might see a little bit of a glossy image. Let me clean this quick because I want to use the clear block again to scrape some of that chalk. So what I'm going to do is a technique called Poppin' Pastels. And this is something that was new like 20 years ago when I started with Stampin' Up. And then we had some chalks at the time. And then it's one of those things where it's like, come back. So it used to be, I can't even see what I'm doing here. It used to be a really popular thing to do and then kind of got away from it. And now with these new pastels again, we're revamping. So this will be good just to show you the technique. All right, so Poppin' Pastels is what this is called. I'm going to put some of the chalk on the sponge dauber and then just dab it. And it's Poppin' Pastels because look what it does over that Versamark ink. It just pops that color right off of the cardstock. It's such a fun technique to do. So you didn't see that flower image at all and then I start popping the color with these chalks and it really just jumps right off of the cardstock. Do a little bit down here with the stems and leaves. It's so fun to do. And I think especially because with Versamark, you like don't see anything, right? It's like just tone on tone is just, it just looks like that little bit of a glossy image and then when you add the chalk it just really really pops off the page okay and then you can do as much blending as you want to so you've been seeing me dab it if you want to kind of swirl and blend some color you can do that too let me tap off some of the extra and there you have poppin pastels just as a point of comparison, this is when I stamped the image with the Memento Black ink. This is stamping the image with Versamark ink. And it's so fun because same exact image, but two really completely different looks. And of course you can go back and add as much as you want. If you want it to be a little darker, you just keep adding the chalk there. Like I said, you can swirl it together. I always start by dabbing just to kind of get um, the chalk on the Versamark and then I go back and swirl to really blend some of that color. So that is Poppin' Pastels, an older technique that is new again. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.